Here's the sassies. Pretty cool. Check it out. See what it's about. Christopher, your mom's trying to talk to you. Come on. Are you sure we'll win? Christopher? Christopher, your mom wants you to sit down. Right there, in the city. Pretty cool. This is the um, Sassy's uh, Wild Horse Park. Right there, two! Center. Eat. I know! That's pretty cool. Potty. <laughs> I had to show you that little thing I had on the, on the bathroom. But apparently we have beautiful sight. Yep, we're going inside, Christopher. We're going to go inside. Don't touch. Wait, you can't even touch one. You can't even pair a horsey. One horse is, and hopefully we see some. If Christopher can be quiet.
This is pretty cool. But, but the new show up west. Put it back. But show up west. No, put it back. It's a gift shop area. Oh God! Checking out the gift shop. Oh my God! Mind the joke. You have to show that way. Swing go Ha 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 ha! Yeah. Wow. Well. Whole bunch of different stuff in the gift shop. Christopher, put it down. Do you? Are you supposed to be picking up stuff? I didn't think so. So stop touching everything. This is not the touch store. Christopher, this isn't the touch store. Mom said no. I don't know if it's just... You okay? No. Mom said no. Put it back. Yeah. don't be rude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so. This one will do. What else do you have? That's not a camera, Christopher. It's a watch. It's a flashlight. Put it back. What is that? I got a watch. Put it back. We will. We're eventually going to go over. Oh, God. We're grass. Christopher. We're grass. The real grass. Yes, I know that's real grass. That's real I'm sorry, this end. I'm sorry, at this end. I wish I did. Pressure gauge and stuff. What? No. That's why recording. Pretty cool. It's big TV with National Park. Pretty cool. Check out, I mean, this is really cool. Wish I could go live. This would be awesome to see live. You know.
So they all rain. It's pretty cool. Check out all this. This is pretty cool. It's, it changed beach compared to what it used to be. The grass that the horses eat. So we eat more. Hi, well. He's bowling all around there. <laughs> yeah, look, see? You want to touch him? Yeah. After he comes over. Tell that beast can come over. He bows up. All right, um, so these belong to the moms. This is um, an egg case of a uh, channel moss, which is right there. And then You're these are working. egg cases for the knob worms. Um, this is how they lay their eggs. Come on, look at the that. And right in here is where the eggs follow. Yeah, I want to bowl. go over there. Let's kind of pet him. Okay, I'm going to show the top shell part. And you can touch anything in the case, just keep it underwater, and touch it on the thing. Everything a lot is alive in here, except for the egg cases and the moose and stuff. Yeah, I know. So far, so good, guys. We're passing. That's what we passed. What? I gotta do a brush to you well. What the heck? Samantha! I found something. Just a few moments. 
your pass or hanger right here. What is it? I know what it is. For safety for yourself and them, so always stay at least a bus length for 40 feet from these animals. Okay. Uh, but feel free to head on in and grab a seat if you want. It's going to start in just about a minute. Okay. It's 20 minutes long. Okay. Okay, thank you. Watch a minute. Plus, fact, I'm filming for damn because Dan can't be here. Yeah. Mom, Mom, wait. How are we doing? Mm. Mom, are we going to go? I see a whale horse here. Are we? Yeah, we're going to go. I saw Yeah. Yay! Yeah. Turn it here so you can see. Huh? Huh? You know what? I'm going to your gray week for. Do you really it's not on yet. Yeah, three, five seconds. No, no, Joey, see that. Oh, God. I'm trying to keep this seven, still as I can. Six. Stop. Stop. Six, oh, this is just the YouTube. Walk. River. I'm get back to the hotel. Yeah. Don't hit my arm, Christopher. Here goes. Oh, God. It's charging. I'll tell you all about it. You have to be quiet, okay? Are there people? Are there people in the world? And your mom answered that. Shaped by wind. Very interesting. And the wave. shelter from the ocean spray, while trees twist and bend under the stress of salt and wind. Along the bayside, mosquitoes and dragonflies have specially adapted to live in and around salt water. Mm -hmm. Many of these plants are finely tuned to their barrier island habitats and live nowhere else. But if an animal can survive on acetique, it may thrive. And no animal embodies this more clearly than the island's wild horses. The horse's story on acetique begins more than 300 years ago. Mainland colonists put horses to pasture on the island in order to avoid livestock taxes. The island 
still served as a natural corral. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Left alone, their survival depended on instinctive behaviors. Over time, memories of the horse's origins faded, emerging again as a new, colorful story. Yeah, Local folklore described how a Spanish ship wrecked off the coast and horses swam ashore. Oh, wow. Genetic studies reveal a more complex ancestry, the result of continuing introductions of new horses over the centuries. More than 300 years later, Assateague's wild horses are flourishing. Today, they live in two distinct and separate herds. In Virginia, the southern herd consists of roughly 150 horses. They graze leased areas in the Shinkating National Wildlife Refuge, and their lives are closely linked to local traditions. They belong to the Shinkating Volunteer Fire Company. Every July since the 1920s, volunteers known as saltwater cowboys round them up. They herd the horses along the beach, then swim them across the bay to Shinkatee. There, the volunteer fire company auctions the foals to raise money. To the north, in Maryland, another herd roams. Their lives are very different. The National Park Service horses, as best as we can, are managed as wildlife. That's a hands-off approach, no supplemental feeding, no veterinary oh. care in general. They're pretty much on their own to live or die as wildlife. Wild and untamed, the horses have become as rugged as their home. Their short legs and stocky build are perfectly suited to the landscape. Sand and marsh pose no obstacle for these sure-footed horses. They've adapted to the challenging conditions of every season. When the weather turns cold, they grow thick winter coats. Throughout the year, they graze mostly on coarse grasses. Their diet also includes twigs, phragmites, and even an unlikely delicacy, poison ivy. Because most of their food is coated with salt, they drink twice as much fresh water as domesticated horses. They find it in the island's ponds and shallow rainwater pools. All of the salt and water combine to give the horses a bloated appearance. Wild horses have adapted so well to acetique, they can alter this island itself. As a non-native species, on acetique, the horses can have a pretty dramatic effect on, on virtually the entire ecosystem of acetique island, ranging from individual plants, plant communities, other organisms dependent upon those plant communities, right up to the physical processes that shape Assateague Island. From beach to bay, horses can have an impact on all of Assateague's habitats. The horses' effects in the salt marsh are particularly evident. In a normal, healthy marsh, you'd expect to see grasses up to your knees. In a lot of areas on Assateague, it's down around your ankles, where it looks more like a golf course than it does a healthy salt marsh. In addition to the effects on the plants themselves, that grazing has also displaced other organisms from the salt marsh. Things like fiddler crabs, secretive marsh birds. Those creatures have been displaced because of the effects of the horses on that salt marsh habitat. American beach grass is another favorite of the horses. When they overgraze, they can damage a key part of the island. Beach grass roots act like small anchors holding dunes in place. Without beach grass, dunes can blow away. 
and with weakened dunes, the island becomes more vulnerable to erosion. To preserve a balance between wild horses in Maryland and barrier island habitat, scientists and the National Park Service have developed an innovative program to maintain 80 to 100 horses. It's a safe, non-hormonal vaccine that prevents pregnancy in mares without altering their natural behavior. A vaccine-filled dart is fired from a rifle. The vaccine is delivered to the horses without a human ever handling them, so they don't become habituated to people. Dr. J. Kirkpatrick has led this groundbreaking program for over 20 years. Yeah, that's right. So step one is you find the mare. Okay, she's the only one. And then you mix your vaccine. You have to actually mix this vaccine right on the spot. Step two is you've got to get within shooting distance of the bear. And that can take a long time. That's probably the most frustrating part of the whole set of steps. Many horses recognize the National Park Service uniform and personnel. They've learned how close the ranger needs to get and stay just out of range. Then step three is taking the shot. We dart the horse only in the run, a lot of muscle. The dart startles more than it stings. And step four is recovering the dart. You want to test to make sure that that dart has fired. Each dart delivers a year's dose of vaccine. And the fifth and final step is to take a little piece of grass or weed and to run it down the needle of the dart, and that tells you whether it fired. When it hits the plunger and you know it's fired, it just is a feeling like nothing else I know, particularly if it's been a tough horse. And you're filled with elation for 15 minutes until you realize you've got to go get another horse now and start the process all over again. The National Park Service vaccinates mares at two, three, and four years old. And then they are allowed to foal. After a mare gives birth to one foal, she may be vaccinated annually. As the Teague's program has been such a success, Several other wildlife management organizations have modeled their own programs after it. I really had no idea whether we could make this work when we started, and it has been spectacular, actually. Because mayors give birth just once, and only in their prime years, they lead longer and healthier lives. And since almost every mayor folds, there's a healthy mix to the gene pool. Every spring, a few new foals arrive, maintaining a stable population. Wobbly at first, foals can walk within an hour or two of birth. A young foal sticks close to its mother, spending most of its days nursing or napping. As they grow stronger, they venture a little farther, though still sleeping for hours each day. Visitors often think that when a horse is lying down, it must be sick. But even adult horses lie on their sides for short periods of deep sleep. Some like to doze with their legs tucked beneath them. This is perfectly natural behavior. More commonly, all horses catch short naps standing up. This is what grabbing a few quick winks looks like for a horse. 
one hind leg cocked, neck lowered, and ears flopped to the side. On their own, horses exhibit natural behavior. But in an unnatural setting, their behavior can be altered in ways that pose a threat to both animals and humans. When horses learn that people might feed them, they hang around roads. As a result, drivers have unintentionally hit and killed many horses. Others have been injured but survived. One of the surest ways to put a horse in jeopardy is to offer it food. The potential harm from close contact isn't one-sided either. When people get too close to wild horses, they get hurt. A bite can wound, and a kick can do even more damage. Several times a year, visitors suffer serious injuries because they got too close. These are large, powerful, and unpredictable animals, not domesticated horses, and definitely not pets. And that's exactly what we value most about them, their wildness. If they become habituated to people, they'll lose the independence and self-reliance that make them so special. Assateague Island is one of the few places where we can still see horses as wild animals. Left to themselves, they've returned to ancient behaviors. They form bands in which each animal has its own rank and role. A typical social group called a harem band includes a mature stallion, his mares, and their young. It's a clear hierarchy, with the lead mayor determining where and when the group moves, eats, and drinks. Horses within a band groom each other to strengthen social bonds. Nibbling and touching seem to help bind the group together and calm them down. The stallion's primary role is to guard his band. Another stallion gets too close, he may try herding the mares away. If the challenger keeps up his pursuit, a confrontation begins with posturing and displays. When neither stallion backs down, a fierce battle of kicks and bites follows. A young male learns by play fighting, honing life skills he'll need later. When he begins to show interest in the mares, the lead stallion will drive him from the group. The young stallion then wanders alone or joins a small, temporary bachelor band. Young females usually leave their family band on their own which helps avoid inbreeding. They'll join an established harem band or pair up with a single lucky bachelor. Together, they'll form the core of a completely new band. Each band has a home range. They spend most of their days grazing in the marshes and open areas on the bayside. Cattle egrets often hitch a ride on their backs. From this vantage point, the bird can spot insects stirred up as the horses graze. Mosquitoes are irritating, and biting flies can draw blood. Horses deal with these bites and itches in a variety of ways. 
a quick scratch helps. And anything solid becomes a rubbing post. But nothing's better than a good old fashioned roll. During the hot and humid summer when swarms of biting flies become too much to bear, wild horses seek refuge on the beach. The breeze and salt spray cool them off and keep flies away. Unafraid and curious, Acetine's horses view the beach as their own. The best approach is to give them their space. Humans have been associated with horses for thousands of years. It is only natural that we are drawn to them. On Assateague Island, wild horses rekindle something deep within us, something timeless and meaningful to our lives. Strength and grace, raw power and beauty. These extraordinary creatures connected so intimately with one another and to their natural environment. They bring us back to a place we perhaps had forgotten. Back to the wild. Okay. Yeah. We're going to, we're going to go see a warehouse now. A warehouse. Okay. Yeah. 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 Okay. So we get to the horses and then all oh, in Paul's. This is where we're at. I don't know if you see the name or not. Visitor and Lucius Visitor Island. But, alright guys, stay pissed inside. No issues. They see me come in, but then they see me film everything. So, <coughs> okay, we're good. All right, pausing. Okay, we have to go over this big bridge to get to the wild horses. But that little camera thing up there. Don't do it till we start seeing the horses. Yeah, till we start seeing the horses. 
But we gotta go over this big bridge. Let me zoom me back in here. Oh god, a boat! I should shop for you with one. Look at the ocean, guys. That's actually the bag. Or the bag, sorry. Yeah, yeah see? see? See, you guys? There's people swimming in there. <laughs> yeah. Well, do you have to hear wait for the TV camera? Uh-huh. I'm going to try cool. to do it. It's about, uh, what, three yeah. miles or something. Two, three miles. There's a sign that said no feeding the horses. Where for horses? Shh, got to be quiet. You won't see him yet, Christopher. You might not see him. I mean, sometimes they're walking around in parking lots. Sometimes they're... Just got to be patient. See all kinds of wildlife out here. Wait, wait, wait to shop. Christopher. Oh, let me see. You might start seeing them up. You start seeing cars stop, you know, the horses are there. Yep. Yep. You can go actually. If you park and go up to the beach it's up here, you can, you can see them usually standing on the beach. Yeah, I know. We, you know what happened when we go up to a beach? Oh, I, I don't know. We might, Chris. We you you got to be nice, Christopher. Because if you approach a horse, I'm telling you, it's going to kick you. Yeah, it's going to kick you. These are very, very wild horses, Christopher. Oh, well, really? Yeah, like nobody, yeah, oh, yeah. Nobody's touched them. These horses run. are very, very wild. They usually will run away from Like, there's camping over here. Oh, uh, could we go up to a beach? Chris Burr, don't, know don't yet. start. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Chris Burr's on his. Are you live? Yeah, no. Um, but I'm going to upload this on uh, YouTube. No, you're not, Christopher. How is Dad going to see you, Christopher? You all, all you need to see is your daddy. You're doing it for your daddy. Okay, guys, I'm going to pause the the camera or the film until we see him, okay? Oh, wait, here we go. I'm not doing it. Mm, there's deer. I don't know if you can see it. It just went I'm live. Not, oh, um, Hi. the floor uh, to a beach. How much is it? Huh? I'm not even worried about that. Yeah, I'm not worried at the moment. I should go up and cover any minute. <laughs> gotta kind of look around. Yep, yeah, gotta kind of look around like we saw, like the deer you saw. Okay, I went back to recording. There was deer back oh, there. I don't know if you guys saw it or not. Oh, what? Here we are. A shack. We'll probably go back that way. I, I forget what you're doing. But if you see any house, you shop. I won't, Christopher. Don't worry, Chris. Well, I'm not be camping. 
I'm kind of recording now because since we saw deer, there might see more deer along with the horses. Let's keep an eye out. Alright, I'm going to pause it again until we find some. What about become a wavelength? I don't know if you are going to be able to see it or not, they're but way over there. they're way see out there, guys. Uh, Mom, will you, will you chug a pokey please? No, Christopher. Mm -hmm. Oh, we can park right there. Yes. Cool. I don't know, that sign says park right there and then... We can't park somewhere. And we can get focus, out. Guys. Mm -hmm. And we got to get out. Yeah, they're way across the lake there, guys. The bay. Yeah. I'm not going to really be able to see them. We will be getting to out. He will be. Good, Chris. We'll get out eventually here. I think we're... There's two over there, I think. Oh, my gosh. Huh? Come on. Two white ones are those birds. That's a big bird. Mom, mm. I should put them in the water. Some of them. So, you do... I'm not sure how to get over there. You would have had to draw for the grass? Cut. No, we would be stuck. It's for that ain't grass. It's a marsh. It's water. You can't drive through that. It's probably flipped out. M Mommy, we might, we might have to have... But, but we are going to get ash soon. No, not yet. I know. Mm. Thank you, sir. Okay, I'm going to pause again until we get more. And then I can't get it now. Yeah, I know. There was deer right there. Sorry. He just kind of, it kind of like pop, pop that corner in my eye. Okay, I'm gonna stay live, guys. Um, <laughs> sorry to see deer. For your, you all love the deer, so I know that from one of the other uh, streamers. Chris, where people are going to hear this. Be quiet. Chris, where people are going to hear this. I'm up here. Now be quiet. You know what? I'm going to go to a show. Okay, good. Have fun with that. I'm going to go to a show. Chris, where? Let's look and be quiet. Go up here. They park up here. Jack, I shouldn't be There's other words up that way. Yeah. I gotta go around here now. I can get around. This is like
Somebody's flying a kite too. Well, how about you pop someone? How about you, uh, hold on. Flying a kite. Oh, Pete, there you go. Oh. We probably should park, like, somewhere, and then... I think we might be a little bit... Uh, go, do we have to take our shoes off? Huh? Mama, it's so good. You want me to park, and then we'll walk up here to the beach? Yes, Mama, it's so good. I'll just, I, I just see. But can we take our shoes off? No. no. It's just a walk, please. It's just a walk. Check it off. So you can Oh, I can't park there, can I? Yeah, it doesn't happen. It's so good, are you safe? Christopher, your mom's trying to concentrate, please. It's so good, you're safe. I can park there, though, right? Yeah. Yeah, I can park there. Yeah, I can park there. Can we take our shoes off? Can we yes. take our shoes off? Yes, we're just waiting till I'm done here, okay? I like the park. Yes. You got me like, now I gotta straighten out. Straighten out. Wait, there's somebody behind me. No. Can we take our shoes off? No. It's so, so good on your feet. Christopher, no. Keep your shoes on. Just Christopher, please. I will tell you what I want to tell you. Um, I don't know. I'm going to try to zoom in. Oh, God.
maybe I'll get one down from where we are at our hotel. Yeah.